Yeah, not true. You guys are lied to. Don't be so gullible. Mother Bird is not going to smell you because she cannot. So don't lie to tell you. Come on. Get it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work for an owl. It's a lot of work. Yep. She'll work on it. All right, well, let's see. We did Sunny. Uh, we'll see Sunny. What about her eyes? What has Bayo not done with her eyes? Blink. Any other guesses? Move them. Move them. Very good. It's hard to see when she keeps closing them, but Bayo cannot move her eyes. Her eyes are fixed. Now she can blink, and believe it or not, she has three different eyelids to choose from. You guys can kind of see two of them right now. See the eyelids coming up from the bottom? She mainly uses those when she's sleeping. She's also got an eyelid that comes from the top. You can kind of see that one as well. She uses that one when she's blinking. And her third eyelid is called a nicotating membrane. It goes diagonally across, and it's just a thin, opaque layer that protects her eyes. And what's amazing about that nicotating membrane is she can also see through it. So while she's flying, if she needs to clo uh, clean her eyelid, her eyes, she can close that nicotine membrane and still see where she's going. It's a neat adaptation. All right, but she can't move her eyes. That was the correct answer. And because she can't move her eyes, because her eyes are so huge in her head, they actually take up two thirds of the room. Yeah, you guys believe that? Yeah, big reaction. Not surprising from you guys. My goodness. But let me paint a picture for you. Could you imagine having two grapefruits on your head as your eyes? That's the proportion of her eyes to her head. You can imagine sticking two grapefruits on your head and having them as your eyeballs. That's how big they are in proportion to her head. And you guys can kind of see how small her head really is while she's doing this. Yeah, it's very deceiving. But, so, because her eyes are so huge, they take up so much room, there's no room for muscles in there. And this is why Bayo cannot move her eyes. So how do owls see left, right, up, and down? Turn their head. Very good. How far can owls turn their head? 360 degrees. 180 all the way around. Good guess. Now it's more than 180, and if it was all the way around, I would have a headless owl up here in my arm. Yeah, the 360, that's the same as all the way around, but it's a good guess. And that is actually a common misconception. She can turn her head 270 degrees or three-fourths of the way around. But this is the trick. She can see all the way around. And this is where some of you guys might have heard that owls can turn their head all the way around because she's just got to come forward again. So she'll look forward, back 270, forward, back 270, other direction. So it does give her that 360 degree view, just not that 360 degree circle. She's got to come forward again, because otherwise, like I said, we would have a headless owl up here on my arm. All right, guys, well, let's see. One last question for you. Anyone happen to know how many vertebrae we as humans have in our nest? <laughs> Three, I'll give you, I'll give you guys a hint. How about if we add five and two? Seven. seven, very good, yes. We have seven vertebrae in our neck. And this is an adaptation of all mammals. So even the tallest giraffe, they have seven vertebrae in her neck, just like us. Are you just showing off at this point, Bale? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It uh, sometimes takes a very, very long time for them to work it off and get it all all ready to go. She's probably still <laughs> building it down there. But uh, yeah, so we have seven vertebrae. This is an adaptation of the tallest giraffe. They have seven just like us. Theirs is just a lot bigger than ours. Well, Bayo here and all owls, they have 14 vertebrae. And this is why they can turn their head 270 degrees, because they've got double the amount of vertebrae we do. It's an amazing adaptation for all owl species. Alright guys, well we are about 15 minutes to show. They're going to open the curtain here in about a few minutes, and you guys are more than welcome to head on in.